the Inspector General of Police was at the government house to console the governor. He said the police will support the rebuilding process of devastated places. Your Excellency will have been informed that the police community was also affected by this disaster. Four of our police stations and three outposts were affected. Our modern AOD training school was also affected. I want to assure Your Excellency that the police leadership will support Your Excellency in the rebuilding of these affected police institutions. On some of the damages that have been made to your command, I know you will do your best. But where you need additional support, but not say command, you don't hesitate to support you in order to, in order to bring back those structures on ground again. Meanwhile, Governor Zulum had earlier in the day flagged off the distribution of food pilotives at the Bakasi IDP camp. He acknowledged food donations from the Ministry of Agriculture, NEMA and NNPC. We observed that it is no more sustainable for us to continue to receive people in the camps because we have seen many people are trooping into the camp, camps, especially those that are not affected. We're a bit worried about the diseases that could come because of the dirty water. But the coordination so far has been quite wonderful. We've also engaged in a lot of search and rescue and evacuated quite a number of people. The state government has provided the absolute necessary leadership that is required in this. They've taken ownership and the community has shown a lot of resilience. Meanwhile, the National Emergency Management Agency has deployed more staff from other zonal offices to assist in the intervention activities ongoing in the flooded areas in Borno State. NEMA said staff from Yola, Gombe, Jos, and the Abuja offices have been deployed to Meduguri because of the overwhelming situation. The NEMA spokesman, Manzo Ezekiel, who disclosed this on Monday, also noted that the Director General of the agency, Zubaida Umar, is also supervising the rescue and intervention activities in the state.